It's Diesel Dan 74. It's April 10th today. I'm actually at a customer's house working on his yard and his um, dead grass problem along his sidewalk. And I'm going to show you the damage. Uh, this winter we had a lot of ice and stuff and the local stores didn't have no ice melt. So you end up using pool salt and the runoff from it killed the grass along the sidewalk and you can, every clump there's all dead grass you can see so I've dug pretty much all this out and I'm coming in behind here with my tractor and loader with a load of black dirt and filling it back in kind of like filling in potholes but this is just a great example of what happens when you use salt or too much salt and I prefer using ice melt along any grass areas just so you don't have this problem. So <clears throat> anyway, I've had this house here, this account for I think two years, and I've been aerating it, fertilizing, and it's it's come from a long ways. Uh, I'll kind of show you some work I've done back here in the backyard. Uh, this bank side here, it's kind of a driveway here, it tapers down and it's got a kind of a steep bank. And this was all full of hem bit, that purple flower. And I finally got a, a good control on knocking all the hem bit out. And that's why there's so many bare spots here because I finally pretty much killed it all off. Today I'm going to bring in my aerator and uh, overseed this and straw it back down and get some more grass established. And uh, that way it'll choke out any more weeds that wants to try to come through and keep it knocked down. But I've been keeping this fertilized. I fertilized it last fall, fertilized it this spring. I've been using a 2010-10 fertilizer analysis and a great example is you can compare there's an empty lot but you can kind of see the uh, the line there what's dark green and what's light what got fertilized and what's then kind of where that boat's laying at right there's the lot that didn't get fertilized but you can see right to the line where my fertilizer started and stopped which uh, you know basically you know shows the job what fertilizer can do to the yard and keep it good and thick and keep the weeds choked out I've checked the uh, soil analysis today on it, normally your yard needs to have a level about a 6.5 to a 7. This one here has a 5.5. And I, I got my little aerator sitting up here, my plug aerator. And I'll probably want to come in today and maybe aerate this lawn and then bring my spreader back. And I'll spread some pelletized lime on it to get the uh, level where it needs to be and even the yard to do even better. But, uh, you know, everybody always talks about what salt can do to a lawn, you know, on your sidewalks. But I just show you, this is a really good example of, uh, you know, look, look, I mean, that grass is just completely dead. It is too much salt. It's all right along the sidewalk here. So, anyway, this is Diesel Dan 74. If you got any questions, please let me know. And if you like these videos, please subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time.